In a world that values self-sufficiency and independence, it can be easy to fall into the trap of thinking we don't need anyone, not even God. We tell ourselves we are strong enough, smart enough, capable enough, that we are enough. But is that really true? Or is this just a lie we've been told, a dangerous path toward a false sense of fulfillment? Look around, especially in today's world of social media, where self-promotion is celebrated. Platforms are flooded with influencers showcasing their perfect lives, their achievements, their looks, and their successes. They're sending the message, look at me, I am self-made, I don't need anyone else. This is the spirit of our age. It's the God of self, a God that we have created for ourselves, a belief that we are all sufficient. It's the illusion that we are the ultimate source of our own happiness and fulfillment. But this is where we have gone wrong. When we fall into the mindset that we are enough without God, we begin to live a life that revolves around self-worship. We see it everywhere, this glorification of self over the truth of God. Narcissism, pride, and self-sufficiency are not new. In fact, they go back to the very first sin in the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve believed they could be like God if only they followed their own desires. And what does this lead to? A distorted sense of truth, where we become the final authority of what is right and wrong. We put ourselves on the throne and reject the eternal truths of God. This is a dangerous path. It may feel fulfilling for a moment, but eventually it leads to emptiness, confusion, and despair. Think about it. No matter how many likes or followers we gain, no matter how successful or independent we become, why does the satisfaction always fade? Why do we still find ourselves searching for more? Could it be that we were never designed to be self-sufficient in the first place? That maybe, just maybe, we were designed to need God. True peace, true purpose, true fulfillment comes not when we exalt ourselves, but when we humble ourselves before the Creator. The Bible tells us in James 4, 6, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. It's when we acknowledge our desperate need for God that we find what we've been searching for all along, His grace, His truth, and His salvation. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. This is the call to every Christian. Deny the God of self. Take up your cross. It's not an easy road, but it's the only road that leads to life. When we turn away from the path of self-sufficiency and instead depend on the eternal truth and grace of God, we find freedom. Freedom from the pressure of being our own gods, of trying to control everything. Freedom to love others, serve others and live a life of purpose beyond ourselves. Today, I urge you to turn away from the God of self and instead turn to the eternal God who loves you, who made you, and who is ready to fill your life with the peace and purpose you've been longing for. True fulfillment is found not in promoting ourselves, but in glorifying the one who is worthy of all honor and praise. Let us pray. Lord, forgive us for the times we have relied on ourselves instead of you. Help us to humble ourselves before you to seek your truth and to depend on your grace. Lead us away from the deception of self-sufficiency and into a life that glorifies you. In Jesus' name, amen. Find your peace in God, not in yourself. Subscribe for more reflections on Christian life and faith. As we close today's reflection, I want to encourage you to take a moment to examine your own life. In what areas are you tempted to rely on your own strength instead of God's? Maybe it's in your career, relationships, or identity. These are the places where the God of self sneaks in whispering that you don't need God, that you can handle it all on your own. But the truth is, the more we try to control our lives, the more restless and anxious we become. Only in surrender do we find peace. Christian life isn't about perfection. It's about recognizing our imperfections and our constant need for the grace of God. It's about daily turning away from the idols we've set up in our hearts and turning back to the one who sustains us. As the psalmist says in Psalm 46:10, be still and know that I am God. It is in that stillness, in that humble posture, that we truly meet God. Imagine what life could look like if we truly let go of the need to be our own gods. If we truly trusted God with every part of our lives, our future, finances, relationships, and identity. Imagine the freedom that would come with knowing that we are not responsible for holding the world together, because God already does. This is the freedom Jesus offers when he says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. This isn't just an individual journey. As Christians, we are called to live in community, to remind each other of our dependence on God, and to encourage one another when the God of self begins to take over. We weren't meant to walk this path alone. We need each other to stay on the path of truth, 
to avoid the temptations of pride and to pursue humility together. So how do we practically live this out? How do we reject the God of self in a world that constantly pushes us toward self-reliance? Here are a few steps. 1. Daily surrender in prayer each morning. Begin your day by surrendering your life to God in prayer. Acknowledge that you need His guidance, wisdom, and strength for the day ahead. 2. Engage with Scripture. Make time each day to read and meditate on God's Word. The Bible is filled with reminders of our need for God and His sufficiency in all things. Let His truth shape your mind and heart. 3. Practice humility. In your interactions with others, choose humility. Serve others, listen more than you speak, and seek to lift others up rather than promoting yourself. 4. Join a faith community. Surround yourself with fellow believers who will encourage you in your walk with God. Attend church, join a small group, or find a community where you can grow in faith together. 5. Keep a gratitude journal. At the end of each day, reflect on where you've seen God's hand in your life. Write down things you are grateful for and how God has provided for your needs. Gratitude reminds us that we are not the source of our blessings. God is. By making these small shifts in our daily lives, we can begin to let go of the grip of self-sufficiency and allow God to take His rightful place in our hearts. And in doing so, we will experience the fullness of life that only comes from Him. In a world where the God of self is worshipped so fervently, let us be people who are set apart. People who humbly walk with God, who rely not on our own strength, but on the strength of our Creator. Let us be a light to those around us, showing that true freedom is found not in exalting ourselves, but in surrendering to the One who made us, loves us, and holds our future. My prayer for you is that you find your peace in God, that you let go of the need to be self-sufficient and instead lean into the grace of Jesus Christ. He is enough, and when we realize that, we will find that we have all we need. Let go of self, trust in God, find true fulfillment. Thank you for joining us in this reflection on Christian life. If this message touched your heart and encouraged you, don't forget to subscribe and share it with someone who needs to hear it. Together we can walk in the truth and grace of God. God bless.